So last night was the Cold World League Season 1 Finals between Optic and Rise. Um, it was actually a really fucking good game. Uh, it was really tense, you know, it wasn't just one-sided or anything. And it just made for really good viewing. It was really fun, you know. If you enjoy Call of Duty and you haven't checked out any of the competitive stuff, I'd definitely recommend it. It's really fun to, you know, see the best people at the game going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know. Find out who's the best. You know, it was a really fun fucking experience. As I said, though, it was actually a really close, intense game. Uh, Optic actually went 3-0 up. But then Rise came back. Optic did their standard choke. Um, literally just started melting, as they always seem to do on land these days. Uh, just started fucking just messing up, doing stupid shit. And to be honest, I don't fucking blame them. To be honest, I completely understand the choke. I get it, alright? I get it. Because if it was me up there, I wouldn't even be able to hold the fucking controller, let alone try and play Call of Duty to a competitive level. So I get it. I fucking get it. I can completely relate to it, man. My fucking hands get sweaty when I'm fucking trying to play pubs. Let alone fucking playing against fucking hundreds of thousands of people watching online and playing in a fucking arena and all that shit. Mate, fuck that. And I'm not talking about a little bit of sweat, you know. I'm talking about like proper gushing. I'm talking about that if you can see my hands right now, if you can see how sweaty they were, like they are literally moist. Like, I'm talking gushing. I'm talking about girls looking at pictures of David Beckham kind of gushing. Now that is some serious gush. Do you know what I'm saying? That is like proper gush. That's not like a little bit wet. That is proper gush. I literally get sweatier than the guy at the gym. You know the one I mean. You know the fucking guy at the gym I mean. The one who's wearing the fucking oxygen mask to fucking inhibit his oxygen. He's up in here looking like he's wearing a fucking snorkel on his face. He's run about fucking 14 miles. He's only got fucking 10 more to go. Running a cheeky marathon in a fucking oxygen mask. No one knows why he's doing it. He's not training for anything. He's just a fucking psycho. He's doing all that and he's still probably not as sweaty as me. Fucking sweating playing this game of ground war, let alone fucking playing on main stage for fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Fuck that man. But talking of the gym, I was there the other day, uh, and I go to the gym with my girlfriend. I'm doing my exercises, you know. I'm just uh, we train together, so she's she's um, resting and I'm I'm working, and I just catch her eye. Um, she's not looking at me, but I catch her eye. She's just like staring off in the distance, and I'm like. Well, that's a bit weird, like, come on, like, I'm here, I'm working out. If anything, you should be looking at me, you know what I'm saying? But no, she wasn't looking at me. She's just staring off into the distance. And it wasn't one of those, like, daydreamy stares where they're just, like, kind of staring at night, not really actually looking at anything and just, like, staring into the distance. It wasn't one of those stares, no, no, no. It was one of those intent, like, ooh, I like what I'm seeing kind of stares. And that, you know, I, I was just, um... Mm -mm -mm. No, you ain't. You ain't staring at some other guy while I'm sitting here working out. Do you know what I mean? Like that's that's not motivation. That's not motivation. That's not what I need. That's not what I need to be happening while I'm trying to work out. I do what most guys would do. You know, I I catch the line of her eyes and I just follow the line. You know, I follow the line and I want to see this guy who's so fucking big, so dense that she feels the need to stare at him during my workout. So I follow the line, I'm expecting to see some fucking Dwayne Johnson, John Cena looking motherfucker. What do I see? What do I see? I see a girl with a banging fucking ass. And I'm like, oh, I don't really think I can be mad anymore, you know? So I turn to her and I'm like, like, were you just, were you just checking that girl's ass out? She was like, yeah, she has a fucking good ass. And I was like, oh yeah, like, she does, she does, she has a fucking good ass, I'm not gonna lie, like, can't be blaming my girlfriend for looking, checking that shit out, do you know what I mean? So I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a bit of an opportunist, do you know what I mean? So I was just like, I'm gonna test the waters here, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna test the fucking waters. I was like, are you into that? Like, do you know, are you like, are you into that? Do you, do you like what you see kind of thing? You know what I'm going for here, do you know what I mean? You know what I'm going for, I'm, I'm thinking, my head's, I'm thinking of threesomes on the cards, like, I'm getting ready for this, this is like, Day of your dreams, like, you know what's going to happen, like, you're, at least what you hope is going to happen. You're just thinking, fuck man, this could be the best day of my life if this shit pulls out of the way I think it should be. But then, of course, you get the devastating news. No, I'm not really into it, I just think she has a good ass. Fuck's sake, way to get my fucking hopes up, do you know what I mean? Build me up, and then you just break me down, man. You just break me fucking down. But now, at least I know, even if it's not going to happen, the seed has been planted, you know, the seed has been planted, it's going to work away, it's going to grow. The idea of it is going to grow in her head, and there's a chance, lads. 
there's a fucking chance, alright? Probably won't ever happen. I can dream, can't I? 